How's my hair? A mess. <laughs> okay, hi, I'm Lucy. Um, I am currently a graduate student getting my master's degree in counseling. And I'm also doing um, an extra internship and the extra coursework so that I can specialize in sex therapy. I'm really fascinated by the psychology of human sexuality, um, how trauma informs sexuality, because trauma does really fascinating things to the brain. People would probably say that I'm a flirt or like that that's my strategy, but like it's not even a strategy, <laughs> like that's just who I am. I was in college, I studied theater, and then I pursued a career in acting and directing um, and did like a lot of regional work where I live in Olympia, Washington. I fell into writing like playwriting, but it was mostly like children's plays and children's musicals for children's theater troops, which people think is really funny because like I was a stripper for 10 years and then I started writing children's musicals. It, like a word that people would use to describe me is confident. And I do have insecurities, um, especially uh, like I'm getting older and I'm also in recovery. I've gotten a little chunky. I'm a little thick, but I, so I do have insecurities, but they don't affect my overall sense of self-worth. One of my focuses in graduate school is in narrative counseling, which is um, a certain like school of counseling or like a um, counseling sort of technique and it focuses on family narratives and i have gotten to do a lot of my own sort of soul searching and healing while in this program and i took this class called family of origin and did this really deep dive into my own family story because i had this pattern of dating and loving emotionally unavailable men my whole life and the symptom belongs to a larger family narrative of these emotionally unavailable fathers raising these daughters who then would grow up to love emotionally unavailable men and have children with them. And the cycle can be traced all across my family line. It was sort of a story that I inherited. And we all sort of inherit these scripts from our family systems. And then we just walk around in life, casting the same characters, casting different people to play the same roles over and over and over again until somebody decides that they wanna change the pattern. And I've done a lot of work on myself and have stopped dating emotionally unavailable men. <laughs> but I just, I feel like it's this huge privilege that I have. It wasn't until recently that we even, as a society valued the idea of therapy and about talk of talking about our feelings or examining our family systems, examining our family narratives. And now we are in an age where that is like science is like, Hey, this is actually really beneficial for us to do. And so I just feel like it's a privilege that I get to change my family narrative. Um, I, I'm also a crazy cat lady. I breed Siamese cats. So um, let me show you. I got a litter right here. This is Haiku. Say hi. Oh, you're in my hair. You're in my hair. <laughs> I'm really excited to play in Inferno and can't wait to meet everybody. How's it going, everybody? I'm Brett. I'm a line cook at a local brewery in Lawrence, Kansas, Rock Chalk. We just won the national championship in basketball, so that's tight. But anywho, uh, I'm looking forward to doing uh, this game some justice, you know? So uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, hoping to do the right thing and the wrong thing at the same time. So we'll see where we are. Love you all. Give it up. What's up guys? My name's Madison and I am happy to be playing Inferno. 
Um, I am from Kennett Square, Pennsylvania, the mushroom capital of the world. I'm 22 years old. Um, I started playing orgs like a year ago, and I've been obsessed ever since, so they make me very, very happy. Um, I'm looking forward to meeting everyone, playing with everyone. Um, my favorite part of these games is meeting new people, so I um, love that. And I don't know, some other fun facts. I have a private pilot's license. Um, I love dogs. I love to sing. Um, I also love cats. Like, I'm just a big animal person. Um, if I had one of the Encanto powers, it would definitely be the talking to animals one. So, yeah. So, looking forward to meeting everyone and the best of luck. Hey, what's going on, Infernos and Infernets and everything in between? I can't believe I just said that. My name is Mike. I am 27 years old. I am from North Providence, Rhode Island. I use he, him pronouns, and I consider myself a musician. I am not in a band or anything. I don't... I, it's kind of a hobby I've had since I was 13. But I love the music. It's got me through a lot of shit. And, yeah, I post covers on YouTube sometimes, and sometimes I'll just put them right on Facebook or TikTok or Instagram. Uh, if you need my Facebook, just ask me, I'll give you a link, maybe. Or I'll probably be tagged under this post. Um, my Instagram is Wonderpuff Games, as well as my Twitter, and my TikTok username is just Wonderpuff. Uh, but yeah, that's a little bit about me. Uh, honestly, let's get some org facts out there, too. Well, not, nothing too fancy fancy. Uh, I, I have been doing this whole org business since Twitter, and, and I played Instagram games a little bit back in the day. I played a little bit of Twitter. For a few years, and I've been doing this since 2013. Uh, Skype has been a lot of fun. I love, I do enjoy the Skype games. Um, but yeah, we're coming in here, coming into Inferno. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna have all the good vibes. And let's do this. What it do, baby? Hello, I'm Erin Maley. I'm 22 years old and I live in Chicago, Illinois, and I'm playing on this season of Inferno. I am very excited to be playing another org. I've only played like two in the past and they've been really good experiences. I got to meet a lot of cool people and I think that's like a priority I'm going to have in the game above anything else. I just love the community. I love to meet new faces. Kind of gives me a social outlet when I've been just studying all throughout the school year. I'm so excited for to have my finals being done and to just kind of like kick back and enjoy the summer before I graduate. So that's definitely what I'm looking forward to. A little bit about me is that I'm studying statistics in college. So I like math, which sounds super lame, which is also why I need this as my social outlet. <laughs> and um, I just love the city. If you're ever in Chicago, I'm pretty friendly, so I definitely like to go around town and just go to the bars, try new food. If you want to get to know me and you're seeing this, definitely hit me up and tell me like your favorite food or restaurants, and I can talk about that for hours. So yeah, very excited to play, get to know more people, and catch you in the game, I guess. <laughs> Hi there. Yes, I am. Uh, uh Yes, I am high, right? Because it said hi there. It's one of many dad jokes that I can make. They're not too funny, but I find them funny, and that's all that matters. I'm Brian. I'm 24 years young from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I'm a huge stoner. I love smoking weed with all, like, my soul. It's, like, my favorite thing. Um, and there's also Survivor Big Brother that's, like, a close second for me in playing these orgs getting to play with such lovely people and getting casted by Sean, Jen, and Topher was the blessing and I'm very happy to be playing this game. A little bit about me is 
I work at Wawa overnight. Started at 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. Um, been there for about a month and a half now. Pretty, pretty, I like it. It's pretty fun. It's not too hard. And overnight I got accustomed to already. I've done it before. I'm not, I'm a night owl anyway, so. But anyway, besides that, I also, besides playing these orgs, play Yu-Gi-Oh! with my friends and competitively used back in 2020 before like the pandemic broke out, I got to invite the nationals. There's regionals coming to my city in next month. So I'm going to definitely try to get top so I can make the nationals this year. But we'll see if that happens. Got to play my cards right, obviously. Also like playing poker, love sports, go Sixers. Joel and B just got hurt, but... I have faith that we can beat the Miami Miami Heat and move on to the Eastern Conference Finals. That's for my sports bros out there, y'all understand. But sports are my thing. I like sports as well. Any sport mostly. I my knowledge on other sports goes down, but I like all the sports. Uh sports bro. Yes I am. My Raiders hat? No. Uh, They're my second favorite team. I like the Philadelphia Eagles and then the Raiders, but that's I'm a sports bro. Phillies jacket. Uh, but also about me, I'm just excited to play this org and get to meet y'all and have a fun time. And can't wait to see y'all in the game. Uh, ask me any questions. Get to know me. It'll be fun. Oh my god, hey guys, uh, yes, uh, it is me, Kevin Falk, um, I am 23 years old, um, he, him pronouns, I live in New Jersey, and I am very excited to, uh, to play this game, uh, first season of Inferno. It's actually been a little bit since I've played, um, an org, not super long, but, like, just, like, you know, a few months, um, so... I'm very excited to to get to play this game. I've played a few Survivor Orcs before, uh, and to say that like they're like you know it, it, they're very like hit or miss in terms of like placements for me is honestly an understatement. There are some I've done really well in. There are some that I've just like flopped horribly in. And, like, I don't even want to uh, fully discuss them because of how bad uh, my placement's been. Um, but, no, in all seriousness, uh, I think this should be a lot of fun. I always enjoy the social aspect uh, of these games, especially getting to meet new people, solidify, like, new bonds and things like that. That's something I'm very uh, excited for. Hoping there's a lot of, like, you know, fresh faces in here that I haven't seen before because that's always really exciting. And I would like to say that I'm a pretty loyal player for the most part. I'm someone that, like, you know, if we're able to to talk and things like that, uh, I'm probably going to try to stick by you as much as I can. I've been able to make, you know, a lot of really good friends um, in the org community that way, so I hope to be able to maintain that, you know, find someone that I can relate to really well, someone that I can vibe with, and hopefully we can kind of, like, you know, ride this thing out together. Um, but if not, I hope, hey, at least hopefully I make a few, you know, decent little connections um, here in there um to get to see you know new people people i i don't know how to speak uh new people um play orgs and things like that that's always something i get uh really excited about um and then this prod team i mean i absolutely adore uh this prod team uh every single one of them they're legends uh, they are icons they're wh whatever adjective you want to use to to describe them they're just really wonderful people all around and that really does um, excite me for this game. I think this is going to be uh, a lot of fun to watch. I'm not entirely sure what exactly they have planned, um, but, you know, the game of Survivor, very circumstantial in that way. There's a lot that can really happen, um, but uh, anything else to really talk about? Oh, yeah, uh, I'm a fan of movies, big fan of movies. I, I, I love talking about movies. I love dissecting film. I, I love, um, you know, of course, watching stuff. You, you name it. I'm a big, big guy, big uh, fan of that stuff when it comes to that. So, like, if that's something you're interested in, definitely, you know, let, let's let's talk about it. That's definitely something that really does um, excite me. I also have a YouTube channel in which I have uh, discussed said movies and TV shows and things like that. I'm also a cashier at, at Panera. I don't know if I brought that up. Um, but, yeah, that that is what I do for a living, kind of. It's, it's like a part-time thing, but I'm trying to, like, extend it a bit to make it a bit more full-time. We'll, we'll, we'll see how that really does go. Um, but other than that, yeah, this should be a lot of fun. I, I hope that this is a really fun experience. I'm sure it will be, uh, like I said, considering, you know, who the prod team is and whatnot. Um, yeah, I, I never know how to end these, so I think I'll just wrap up by saying that, you know, there, there are a lot of things 
in this game that are probably going to involve fire, especially based on the, um, the, 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 the name and things like that. So I just really hope that by the end of the day, uh, my game is not the thing that's gone up in flames. Hey guys, this is Zach. Um, I am 30 from Pennsylvania. I'm ready to play the game and I am ready to rock it. I go by they and them pronouns. Um, and I am a student and going for psych or applied behavioral sciences. And I want to be a clinical psychologist whenever I get my degree or a forensic psychologist. Um, my strategy during this game is just be me. Um, that's all you can be. So I hope you guys have fun. I hope you enjoy my personality. Um, so rock out. Hey guys, my name is Chantel. I am 30 years old and I am from Toronto, Canada. Okay. Um, I am a fashion designer. I love all things fashion, all things glamorous. Okay. Um, I am into zodiac signs, so don't get upset if I ask what your zodiac sign is that's just what i do i just like to get to know people um yeah in my free time i like to play these games but nine times out of ten i don't have time to play but i'm here to play today honey <laughs> um yeah what else would you guys want to know about me um i've played a few orgs uh yeah I don't know what else to tell you. Um, I came here to play, came here to have fun, came here to meet new people, make new friends. I came here to uh, try to win some competitions, if there is one, because I don't know what the fuck I'm getting into. Um, yeah, what else can I tell you about myself? I love to drink. Um, I smoke sometimes, so whoever wants to have a smoke sesh, I'm down. Um, what else? Um, I guess I should tell you my zodiac sign, and I am a Scorpio. Um, a lot of people hate Scorpios, but I'm telling you right now that I'm the best kind of Scorpio, okay? Okay. <laughs> uh, what else can I say? Um... People love me. I'm, yeah, really likable. And uh, I can't wait to play with all you bitches <laughs> because we're going to make this inaugural season lit as fuck. Okay? Okay. And yeah, I can't wait to play with you guys. I can't wait to meet everyone. Bye. Hey guys, my name is Jess. I am originally from New York and I am currently residing in Gainesville, Florida. I have a lot of experience and my first career was working as a veterinary technician in emergency um, with a lot of different species and then I am currently a first year veterinary student. So go Gators! Um, why I am good for this competition. So I think that because I'm always surrounded by all these different animals and species that I'll really be able to tap into my primal instincts and let that show through the competition. I am also relentless in that when I set my goals onto something, I do not stop until it is done. So aside from that, it is important that you meet my baby Aragon. <laughs> I adopted him from vet tech school when I uh, did that, and he is just my pride and joy and good luck. What's going on, y'all? I'm Joe from New Orleans, Louisiana. Um, I was born and raised here, moved to Wisconsin, lived in Chicago for a little bit, then eventually moved back here to finish up my master's degree. Um, finished that up, like, what is it, last year? Wow, time flies. Um, but then I moved back. Uh, stayed here afterwards, found a job, uh, work as a software engineer, super fun, right? <laughs> Coding all the time. A um, couple things about me, I really enjoy certain anime, um, manga, gaming, I game a lot, <laughs> 
the whole reason I'm doing this game is just because I love gaming and this is a whole new way to do it. And um, the reason that I think I'd be great for this game is I am actually a pro Yu-Gi-Oh player. So I'm used to this competition. I thrive on competition. I eat it up. I'm num, 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 num. Love it. So I'm looking forward to meeting everybody and can't wait for Inferno to start. What is up guys? It is Corey from Winter Park, Florida, the Sunshine State. I'm here to rain down on this competition and have a great game with everybody. Not exactly sure what I'm doing. First go around with this, very new. I signed up because I was told to. So I'm hoping just to have a great game and enjoy the challenges with everybody. Hello, my girl bosses. This is Matt and this is Pickle. Um, I was told I have to do this video um, and I'm doing it last second because that's how I do it. Um, so a little bit about me. I live in Florida, but I'm from Pennsylvania. Um, I have this wonderful cat who hates me but loves me. Um, I have never played anything like this game and I don't even watch Survivor, but I'm built different, so I'm planning on winning, because that's what I do. Um, my cat is nudging my phone, because that's what she does. Um, what else? Um, my interests are uh, video games. I watch a lot of anime. Um, I cut fish for a living. So, um, vegans dislike me and fish fear me. Um, I feel like I could think of more stupid things to say, but I feel like that's a waste. So, yeah. I'm looking forward to shit on all of you. Thanks. Hey everyone, the name is David. I am 28 years old and I am from Dallas, Texas. A little bit about myself, uh, I am a former teacher. Um, I studied music education, um, so I love music. So if you want to talk to me about music, you can talk to me about music. <laughs> um, but I am currently a server of fine dining and restaurant and currently transitioning into my next career, which is social media marketing. I am big on social media, love social media, spend a lot of time on it. Um, so if you know anything about social media, if you know anything about marketing, hit me up. Um, I am super excited to play this season. I'm super excited for the theme, Inferno. It sounds really cool. Um, I hope everyone brings their A-game and brings the heat, all pun intended. Um, but yeah, I'm ready to get to know every single one of you guys. So can't wait. Hey, bitches. My name is Lee. I'm 22 years old. And I'm from Sydney, Australia. Um, some fun facts about me is I'm a huge bitch. That's a joke. I'm not a bitch. I sound like Pearl from Drag Race. I love to swim. I love hockey and I'm just an all-rounder weirdo. I love like nerdy things like Marvel and Star Wars, but I love like sporty things as well. So I'm kind of like a weirdo. Um, I'm kind of rusty at all. Like I played like four total. I played like three, had a big break, played one, flopped. And I was like, oh, I don't know I should do this again. Um... Yeah, don't vet me out, and I'm excited to play. Hey everyone, my name is Aston. I am 32 years old. I live in Indiana. I'm a different teacher. Um, some interesting facts about me. I love to play. It's one of the most. It's one of my favorite things. Um, I'm very much into astrology. I am a huge Harry Potter nerd and a Disney nerd. Um, I run my own Harry Potter and Disney club. Let's see. Oh my goodness, I'm so, I'm so boring now that I don't have a dog anymore. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, I'm a self taught amateurs who. My own journey started back about five to six years ago, almost six years ago, I think. Um, 
<laughs> so I've been playing for, for, for uh, I am so excited to play this game. I love fire and Inferno caught my attention when I saw the apps come out. Um, I was like, yes, I want to play. I did. Um, I got casted, obviously. But, um, so I'm excited to see what this game is about. Um, I love hula hooping for fun. Uh, I'm a proud Hufflepuff. My favorite Disney movie is Moana. And if there's anything else you want to know about me, feel free to ask. Um, I can't wait to see who else playing this game and get to know everyone. Um, you know, for now, yeah. Bye. Hi, uh, everyone. My name is Josh. I am 24 years old. I currently live in Virginia. I was born and raised in Florida. Um, and I'm an accountant. And yeah. So some fun facts about me. I I am a big sports fan. I'm a big cryptocurrency fan. Um, I, I watch a lot of TV and movies. And so talk to me about that. Um... I like going. Hmm. Well, I, like, I, I like going outside and walking along the trails and seeing deer and animals. I like. I recently went to a petting farm, and like that was really cool. So I kind of want to go to the zoo now. Um, I'm gonna keep rambling. I've been playing orgs for quite some time now. I've been playing for about two years, and it's been great to meet people and just have a good time and i hope to continue that this time um hopefully do well you know the goal is to win but uh, it's, it's hard <laughs> but um ultimately i'm excited to play i hope you guys enjoy watching me if and if you're playing i hope you guys enjoy playing with me but uh yeah uh see you guys hi there i am new zealand's quirky stress bull mac andrew igloo I am 21, my pronouns are he, him, and I live in, of course, in New Zealand. It's a small place, not many augers are here, so I feel very special to be one of the few. Um, I have a lot of anxiety. I do not like talking in front of the camera. Are you... Oh, my land. You know, just trying to show the judges some vulnerability here so I can be an all-stars. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> if I have a little bit of breath, if I have, you know, if I look away from the camera, it's fine. Don't worry about it. You didn't see anything. If I say words like I or um, then, you know, just, it's fine. I... Call the police. We need to call the police work at an orchard which is annoying because i don't like getting my hands dirty so you know a little bit of a conflict there i am a huge 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 fan of horror movies i will talk about horror anything horror related horror video games my partner does not like horror so it's fine we make it work hey I also love Drag Race, anything drag related. Miss Ketamine, love her to death. Anita Wiglet, love her too. Electra Shock, she tried. Um, I love Drag Race just in general, can talk about that. Other shows I love, Survivor, Big Brother. I'm getting into Big Brother Canada with season 10. Australian Survivor, I even watch some reality TV shows which I get a lot of crap for. Keep me up with the guy there, Jens is one. <clears throat> but it's all good. It has been about six months since I've played a Survivor Orc, so it's nice to, like, dip my toes in, test the water, say hi. I generally just love getting to know people, like, chatting with people on a Zoom, getting to know people, playing some, like, Jackbox games, some Zoom games, you know, Maybe not code names because I'm not good at it. Yeah, I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. 
I mean, he could be walking down the street. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know a thing. I have a interesting, like, persona, like an alter ego almost, named Paris. And I would describe her as, like, the type of valley girl who would, like, get into her sports car with her daddy's credit card and just, like, curb the car. And then her excuse would be like, oh my god, I'm such a fucking Capricorn. So, like, you know, she's really fun. Um, my dream will always be until it happens to move to Canada. My partner lives in Canada, Victoria, BC, and I want to move there. It is my absolute dream. I love my partner so much, my non-binary icon. I stand them so hard. And I want nothing more than to move to Canada and get it a place for, to call our own and have cute little puppies running around. Like, that's literally my dream. You know, try to watch some horror movies and then my partner's like, mm, what about Disney? I'm like, mm, what about no? So, you know, it's fine. But in all seriousness, I'm very excited to play Inferno. Um, as a Capricorn, I don't fuck with a lot of uh, fire signs, so... Don't know how I'm gonna do, but, um, you know, Miss Capricorn over here, she's gonna make do. She's gonna get through it. Some of my best friends are Aries, which is, like, literally my polar opposite in the horoscope, uh, spectrum of things. But, you know, sometimes opposites attract, and I just have to get into it, yo. That's all. Bye.